Hey there, Jaguars. I'm Christina Pagano. And I'm Connor Dunn. Wait, where are you going? We're doing the recap. The recap starts now. Connor, don't you get tired of seeing the same teachers over and over again? Yeah, I do. I'd like to see some new teachers to like freshen things up, I guess. Well, good thing we got new teachers. Check out this story. With the start of a new school year, the Jaguars have added three new faculty members to our pack. Replacing Mr. Dillon, we have Mr. Kimmelstein, who has been certified in MasterCam, a very popular engineering program. My name is Mr. Kimmelstein. I teach Five classes of technology ranging from introduction to computer integrated manufacturing. I was at Margate Middle for two years. Before that, I was district based for 10. So far, so good. Dealing with students like yourselves is a blessing. Dealing with some of the other students, not so good. But all in all, I've had a lot of good students, so I can't complain. I'm ADDA certified, which is a drafting certification, and I'm awaiting my certificate for Master Camp certification. I'm going for the goal of having students achieve MasterCam certification themselves, which means they will get the certification, and then they can go and take that when they apply for jobs, and it's a very in-demand type certification. Our security staff has a new member as well. Uh, Coach Kelly, I'm the IS instructor here at Cold Glade Senior High School. I came from my Knob Hill Elementary, Knob Hill Elementary School. I'm actually a PE teacher. Well, I hope to make a difference at IS by giving someone a, a positive, uh, a positive picture, I guess, you know, someone to constantly be there to remind them of things that they should be doing to better themselves. We welcome the new staff members with open arms. Hope you feel welcome and enjoy the 2011-2012 school year. With no, WJAG, I'm not, I'm not, this is Christina Pagano. Time out. Cut. Hey, Christina, did you hear the Code of Conduct online this year? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I think it's pretty cool. Sometimes when I'm sitting at home alone with nothing to do on my computer, I've really wanted to check out the Code of Conduct book. Haha, ha, very funny, Connor. But the school has been using computers a lot more this year. Check out this story. With technology becoming more and more involved in our school, many familiar school methods have been made available on the computer. For the 2011-2012 school year, the Student Code of Conduct will only be available online in an attempt to go green. Not only has the Code of Conduct Handbook been moved to the web, but a number of other school functions have as well. A new website called SchoolPaymentSolutions.com will let parents manage their child's lunch accounts from home. They will be able to make payments through their credit card. Right, the purpose of that is so that your parents can um, fill out a free or reduced application and also uh, pay with a credit card. So the benefit of that is it would, it would free up the lines from you guys pulling out money out of your wallets or, oh, I don't know, I owed money. So that would speed up our lines a little bit if you guys all paid online. To help their students keep up with classwork, teachers are also creating class websites on teacherweb.com. I've been using the class web like website for the past few years. Um, things that I put on the website are their assignment sheets or any handouts which we do in class and also some reviews for chapter tests. These things are also used in class, but it's very important for students who are absent to be able to get the information that they need quickly. In addition to all the new web services, the school also received new MacBooks. Um, we actually received 55 new MacBooks, and this was because of the fact that uh, due to testing crunches and whatnot of last year and just the, the need of technology, we were one of the schools that got chosen to get two carts of MacBooks. We have them for math department use only, and also know that we do use them for testing for a lot of the uh, EPAT testing and the te and you know any type of standardized testing we're going to have now. Those are going to be utilized. With these new conveniences in school, education will further improve for generations to come. Reporting for WJAG, I'm David Creasy. Hey Connor, do you know what date the Fourth of July is? How am I supposed to know what date the 4th of July is? I don't keep track of every holiday. Connor, it's the 4th of July. Oh yeah. That's okay, don't feel bad. A lot of people get easy questions wrong. Check out this week's questions. 
What was the fifth president? Fifth president, John Adams. <laughs> what was the tenth president? The best president. John Adams. <laughs> How many colonies are there? Thirteen. What are they? Okay, New England. Oh, but not New England. Oh, <laughs> New Hampshire, New York. Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut. That is incorrect. How many states are there? 50. How many? 51? Right, because Puerto Rico is there, right? Can you tell me what SPF stands for? No, I can't. I don't can't? know what that means. You can't at all, guess. I swear. Student, parent, field. <laughs> what it has to do with sunblock, SPF? Oh, SPF. Yeah, the, uh, the degree of which... It d protects your body from the sun's harmful rays. Um, school, private, fun. <laughs> How many presidents have there been so far? Two. Two presidents. All right. Can you tell me what SPF stands for? Can I name all the planets in order? Come on, I'm a grandpa. How am I not supposed to remember all that stuff? Mercury, Venus, Mars. I mean, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Saturn Neptune, Pluto, <laughs> Saturn, Uranus, Pluto. Right? Yeah, yeah sure. Close uh, wait, colony? What do you mean by colony? Fort, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale. That's all we have for this week's edition of The Recap. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. There's a lady who's sure All that glitters is gold And she's buying the stairway